Hey, my name is Caleb Ryder, and in this video, I'm going to briefly explain what Pseudoswap is and how it could even save you money. Back in the day, Pseudoswap started as an over-the-counter NFT marketplace where you could trade any combination of ERC-20, 721, and 1155 tokens. This was and still is particularly useful for transactions involving the tokens from NFT games because there are zero swap fees aside from gas and you can get really creative with the token combinations that you're swapping. But this over-the-counter marketplace certainly isn't limited to NFT games. As you can see, the marketplace allows you to swap all sorts of tokens with one another. Right here, we have a doodle for USDT. With the CyberKongs, we can see how you can exchange NFTs for other NFTs. So there are all sorts of possibilities and combinations that you can do with Pseudoswap. And if you want to use this over-the-counter marketplace, make sure you're using the otc.pseudoswap.xyz URL. More recently, Pseudoswap built a decentralized NFT marketplace with fees of just 0.5%. When compared to the most popular exchange, OpenSea, which takes a 2.5% cut of the sale price, you can save a significant amount of money by using Pseudoswap instead. In addition to the NFT marketplace, Pseudoswap has liquidity pools that allow you to deposit tokens and receive NFTs, deposit NFTs and receive tokens, or deposit both NFTs and tokens and earn trading fees as people buy and sell NFTs using your pool. According to Dune.com Analytics, there have been almost 90,000 transactions, 30,000 total users, and 200,000 total NFTs traded on Pseudoswap. To use Pseudoswap, make sure you're using the correct URL, pseudoswap.xyz. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this type of video and if you have any other topic suggestions. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this brief explanation of Pseudoswap. I hope you enjoyed the video and that I'll see you in the next one.